Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the beautiful lands of Omen, where we are fighting some rebels here. Uh, we wasted 200 ducats on a fort that we couldn't finish. And even though the fort was only like 10% done, when we canceled the fort, we only got half of our money back. So that sucks. We're losing money right now, and we still have to kill these rebels. We're currently trying to convert Bayuda. Uh, we did finish converting this province, which is great. So Ibadi is slowly spreading. You can see our vassal Nejd has converted two provinces already. Nejd is so good at conversions. And we're currently working at making Haasa a vassal. He's close, but not quite there for becoming a vassal. I believe if we build a few more armies or navies, just a couple more units, he'll probably want to be a vassal. Twitch chat's asking, how close are we to Tech 6 for that uh, new naval unit? There is no new unit. Tech 7, is that? No, it's Tech 9. Tech 9 is a new naval unit, so we've got a long way to go for that. So we're going to keep building barks for now. But yeah, we are way, 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 way below our force limit for naval and army. So we need to build 40 more ships. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to build 40 more ships. Let me just calculate. That's 800 ducats. How are we going to build 800? How are we going to build ships from 800 ducats? We don't have 800 ducats. Are you crazy? We don't have 800 ducats, you know? We're currently collecting 5.58 ducats from trade. We get 8.3 from taxes and uh, 4 from production. We're spending 1 ducat, 1 and a half ducat on this advisor for helping us convert. And we're spending, uh, let's see, 3 and a half ducats on forts, 2 ducats on colonies, 14 ducats on our army. But most of that is replenishment, reinforcement. Oh, brutal. Okay, they're splitting up. Good, 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 good. They're splitting up. Oh, right, we have a lazy colonist. You're 100% correct, Twitch chat. We have a lazy colonist. So where do we want to colonize? I think we want to get more of these little islands here. But before we do that, let's see if we can reach St. Helena. We cannot. It's a... It's... Oh. St. Helena is six distance too far. So as soon as we tech up our Diplo to tech seven, then we can reach St. Helena. But until then, I'm going to go for these islands because they're really easy to get. They're not the best islands to take, but we'll take them because they're easy. Lost marriage with our vassal. That's fine. We'll get it back. Uh, but for now, this is really good that he's splitting. We can go kill these armies individually now. Yes, sirree, Bob. It's what we do. Which one has the worst general? This guy. Okay, we'll go for Kasser Ibram first. At the end of the month, we'll get, what, 100 people back from each army? I think? No, 60. Eh. Alright, leave the injured. And let's go kill. Oh, he's going to finish the siege, isn't he? Fuck. That's okay. Oh no, we got there in time. Good. Kick his ass. Kick his ass. I'm so glad they split up. Alright. We'll give it one month and then we'll go. I don't want to wait around too long. Alright, you have to core your colonies now. I always forget that. You have to core your colonies on your home continents. It's not the end of the world, it's just weird. Like, I'm not used to it. All right. Stay back. Go. Make me proud. Mahuna quarry, get a Mahuna quarry. Yes, you're doing it. It is of the your doings. Yes. Good, good, good. Okay, we're going to leave one guy there. And the rest of us are going to get on get on the boat. And I guess we're going to go fight Mutapa. I really didn't want to go fight Mutapa, but he's sieging up my shit. and ah, He's being annoying. You're being annoying, Mutapa. Mutapa, Mutapa, Moo. Mutapa, Mutapa, Moo. Mutapa, Mutapa. Mutapa, Mutapa. Oh, a Juron full and Marahan. Whoa. You full and Marahan, you bastard. How could you? And he's fighting 
Kaffa and Medri Bari at the same time. Oh, because a doll's getting invaded. Wow, this area is getting quite busy. Quite busy indeed. We're still tech seven, by the way, military tech. Thankfully, the new Sultana has good military ability. Unfortunately, her son's an idiot. So we're going to try to keep the Sultana on the throne for as long as possible so she can help our military skills. All right. I think I'm just going to take Mercs and the cannons. Yeah, mercs and the cannons. I've only got seven transports, so let's make the use of it. Best use of it. Um, where do I want to go drop them off? If we go to Melindy, then we can walk down. That's probably fine. Colonist rush. Nice. Wait, what's our mission? Colonize Palu. We have a mission to colonize something, and I'm not doing it. Well, this place we can probably safely retreat from and go to Palu. Let's go get the colonist... What's it called? Colonial Enthusiasm. It's a five-year bonus for extra colonists. Let's go do that. God damn it, Haasa keeps building up his army. Oh, god damn it. To vassalize him, we're going to have to spam units. Fuck. We really fucked that up. I really fucked that up. I thought we had a uh, good time on the vassalization, but apparently we were too slow. Oh, look at Gujarat eat Malwa. Wow, he got wrecked. Absolutely fucking wrecked. Holy shit, Malwa. Okay, you guys go unsiege the fort, and you go pick up more soldiers. Okay, we finished exploring the coast of the Philippines. Cool. Next up, the waters of Japan. Why not? Spocker82, thanks for resubbing, man. Welcome back. God, we need we need so much money. What? He got Medanda at 14%. Fuck you, AI. He got Medanda at 14%. That's some bullshit right there. 14 fucking percent. 14 fucking percent. When was the last time you finished a siege at 14%? I know it's been a while for me. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Perfect. Get on the boat. Let's go. Let me battle down here. Ow. Mutapa has a 3-1, which apparently is really good. France declared war on Britain. Oh, funsies. Well, we lost a ton of troops, but we won the battle. Yay! Let's see if we can white piece out of this. I don't need this war. Found some fish in Sao Tome. Okay. Nias is about to core. Very nice. Reason I want out of this war is because... Oh, there's Palu. Good. So get our bonus. Yay, colony enthusiasm. Cancel that colony. Abandon it. Good. Go back to Cocos Island. But yeah, I want to get out of this war because we don't need it. it just, it's not helping us at all. I want my war exhaustion to go down. There we go. Good. 
War's over. Melindy's gonna be a little bit upset that we didn't stick the war out with him, but tough shit, Melindy. Tough fucking shit, Melindy. Currently looking at Mamlukian and Kilwa Nationalist. Mamlukian's probably a little more of a threat. Turn off these forts. Save some money. Conquer Shendi. We have a mission to conquer Shendi. Where the fuck is Shendi? There it is. Nah. Relations with Balochstan to 100? Can we do that? No. Not possible. And the other one is create a fleet. 75% of our force limit would be... Thirty-seven, thirty-eight. It'd be thirty-eight or thirty-nine ships. So we have to build twenty, twenty-one or twenty-two ships to do that mission. That's a lot. None of these. I, want, I don't want to do any of these missions. They're garbage. Garbage missions. Oh, Melindy took some land. Okay, I guess that's fine. Utapa is now small enough to full an X. Hey, Harar. Hello. Trying to figure out what we can do down here. I would like to take a vassal and then feed him land. Gotta be the correct religion, of course. Haas is at 30 out of 35. Is there a statesman available? There is, but he's a level 2. Hmm, 97 ducats. I don't have 97 ducats. Not even close. Yeah, if we can get our reputation up, that should, pro that should probably be enough to get the vassal. Take an Ethiopian core and feed them back all their land? Yeah, maybe. But I think they get... Don't nations get released with whatever culture or whatever religion they were supposed to have at the start of the game now? I think they get released with different religion than what you expect. not worth it to have a vassal down here because it's hard to convert hmm you sure about that I mean you're probably right shut up little fan my motherboard has this tiny little fan it makes a lot of noise all right that's our last claim on a Jurin. he still only has the one ally can we beat him up 7 troops, but he has 13 manpower. We can probably beat him up, yeah. But that's just more revolt risk. Gotta deal with it. And I really need to take this one province from Medrabari so that we can walk all the way down the coast. It's so important. Well, for now... Get on the boat. Oh, Melindy, you'll help, right? Melindy, you will help. Melindy even has claims. Well, I don't want Melindy to take any land. Guy's got four claims. He's going to be upset when I don't give him any of that shit. But yeah, we're definitely going to call Melindy into the war. Uh, we have all the claims we need. Thirty out of thirty-three. We just need that stupid advisor. If he was a level one, I could hire him like right now with a loan. I guess I could just take a loan and get him. 
Hmm. Do I do I really want a loan though? I don't want a loan, do I? Loans are expensive. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, you can force religion on your vassal, but then it's hard to uh, then it's hard to annex them because you can't annex your vassal if they're dis disloyal. I had that problem with Yemen. We vassalized Yemen early on, and it was hard to get him annexed because he was constantly disloyal. Even at plus 200 relations, he was disloyal. Coptic makes local missionary strength negative 2%. That's gross. I thought it was negative 1%. No, it's negative 2. Damn, that is rough. That is rough. Hmm. Herrera has Sunni zealots. That's awesome. He took religious. Yeah, he took religious. You dumbass. Well, we discovered Japan. That's cool. Hi, Japan. The only vassal left is Hosokawa. All right. All right, now what do I declare for? I guess I declare for stuff up here. I could declare for this one. Hobbio. Interesting. Might just make him release some stuff. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, let's fight the war. Go get him, Melindy. Okay, we'll stay in the highlands here. Mountains, highlands. Yeah, we'll stay in the highlands. See what he does. A doll's in the war. That's fine. Killing a naval battle? Killing a naval boat? Nice. A naval boat, yes. Killing a naval boat. I'll get right on that. Alright, we're going to force a doll out of this war. I don't really want to take his land. I do have claims on it, but I don't want to be in a situation where, we're f where we... Uh... Well, maybe I do want to take his land. Maybe we will. I don't know. We'll see. But I didn't make him a co-belligerent, so it's going to be more expensive to take it. Conquer Hamasian. What the fuck is Hamasian? Why is there no go-to button for this shit? Hamasian. Hamasian. I don't fucking know. Where's my go to? Hamasian. Right there. Okay. Cool. 11, produ 11 uh, development. That's not bad. What else? Relations with Blochden. We can't do that. Naval race with the Mamluks. I don't like any of these. Go suck an egg. Okay, we got the target province siege down. Great. There's no forts over here. In fact, Ajuran has no forts at all. That's crazy. 
Why don't you have any forts, boy? Mullindy's killing Mogadishu's army. Very nice. Alright, should be able to get Adal out of the war very quickly here. No, he won't even take a white piece. Okay, never mind. Halfway done sieging your army and you won't halfway done sieging your nation, you won't even take a white piece. Sure. You're right, that is pretty uh crazy to even consider. Lost our marriage. Get our marriage. Battle going on in Ajuran's capital. I'm okay with our ally losing that battle. Doesn't bother me. Make our enemies spend all of their manpower and efforts trying to kill that. Since there's no forts down here, it's easy to just walk through all of his lands. So if we fight a battle and win, we can chase him down and kill him, which is great. Yeah, we're playing without mods because I haven't checked to see if any of the mods have updated for 1.13. They probably haven't. It's still beta. Does anyone know, have they scheduled the release for 1.13? I haven't heard heads or tails about it. Shit! We need to go to bot we need to we need a go to button DLC for nineteen ninety nine. I mean go to province button? Yeah, I don't think that should be a DLC. But you know, maybe. Crazier things have happened. Alternately, we could just piece out the war leader directly. That works. All right, he's going to attack us here. We can't get away. Um, I guess we're just going to let him attack us. The shitty thing is he's able to recruit... This is just all mercs. He's able to recruit lots of mercs here, and I can't. He's got a 2-3-4 general. Wow. Pretty good general you have there. Ow. Oh good, I roll a zero. That's fun. And then a nine. Well, the nine's good. And an eight. We're still gonna lose. Get out of there. God, that was fucking painful as hell. Oh well. He's gonna unsiege all that work I did. Why do I even try to fight these guys? I keep forgetting they're all way ahead of us on tech. There's no point in me even engaging in combat. And yet I forget about it every single time we go to war. Okay, we finished exploring the coast of Japan. Very nice. Go explore the waters of China. Yes. Is 
he gonna go unsiege the war target? He probably is. He wants to unsiege Hafen. No, he's actually coming to attack me. Interesting. All right. Oh, he rolls a nine on day one. Fuck you. It's not bad enough being outnumbered against a better tech enemy, but he has to roll a nine on day one. Day one, the most important day of the battle. Get out of there. Well, we do still have ticking war score going on. Oh no, we can't... We lost our siege here? Why? Why aren't you reinforcing? Why the hell aren't you... Oh, he rolled a 1. If you roll a 1 when you're sieging, you take 5% attrition to your army, which prevents the siege if you have exactly the amount of numbers you need to siege. Kind of annoying, but it happens. Alright, he's going back south again. Thank goodness. Yeah, I can't fight this guy. I can't fight any battles. I can't fight anything. Now go explore the coast of China, please. Rolling a one is not good here. Come on. He rolls a nine. That's just disgusting. That's just disgusting. Seven versus two, and he lives long enough for an army to walk all the way from Werder all the way up. Oh, God. But we're still going to win the battle. But oh, my God. Jesus fucking hell. Turn this fort on. Okay, we've explored the coast of China. Go explore the coast of Siam. And that's all the exploration we can do until we finish some more colonies. Painful. I hate having such shit leaders that I can't even tech up my military tech. Like, that's the one thing you desperately need as a non-Western nation. You desperately need military tech. And yet, you know, having shit leader with zero military means you can't. Come on, go ahead and get Alsa so I can finish Adal, get him out of the war.
42%. Come on. Revolt risk in a Goche. Okay, I gotta convert that province. Just increase the autonomy. Don't need revolts. Thank you. Alright, we're done exploring. So, for now, all you can do is go back to protect our trade. Come on, finish the fucking siege, please. Please? Nope, failed again. Fuck you. Gotta secede one of these years, right? If you would just finish the siege, I could get a doll out of the war. Adal's the guy with the best general. Get him out of the war. Succeed in the siege. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's piece him out. Thank goodness. Why are you going through rebels? Oh, you're not. It just looks like you're walking that way, but you're not. Do I want to do that? Sure. And get a free religious conversion. Why not? And take some cash, too, because I like money. Buy a doll. Okay, the best general is out of the war. Now Melindy's going to peace out at some point, because they're weak as kittens right now. Hey, we finished our colony in Sao Tome. Very nice. So does that give us the range for St. Helena? Probably. Yes. Okay, St. Helena first, and then Fernando Po next. Yes. Fernando Poe very, very much next. Excellent. But we are out of time for the episode today. Thanks for joining me, guys. I've been Shen, you've been you. Come back next time, where we'll finish up this war with a Juron. Just siege him out, I guess. Take a little bit of land. I don't need to take too much stuff here. Maybe three or four provinces along the coast. All right, I'll see you next time. Have a good day.